Voice, Real Fit Radio with B. And J.L.O.U. If this is your first time listening, welcome. And if you're a returning listener, welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Confidence isn't walking into a room thinking you are better than everyone. It's walking in not having to compare yourself to anyone at all. Okay. But that's what it is. Food for thought. Oh, yeah. I can always take in some additional knowledge. I'm trying to learn something new every day. Anything to make you better than the day before, it works. Well, without further ado, we're going to jump into the meat and potatoes of this podcast. Aging gracefully, not stressfully. How do you go about doing that? That indeed is the question. I've been focused on this more lately a lot because I'm getting older and my goal is to get better with time, like wine. Not so much as in physical appearance, but my state of mind, because I think with children and stuff, they have this innocence and they seem so carefree. And sometimes I find myself to be envious of that. You have so many other things going on, thoughts, stuff that's out of your control. Just every day is something. And I think that that can be very stressful at times and it begins to show. One of the things I'm trying to implement, (laughs) it is a work in progress, is not getting frustrated over things I have no control over. It's very hard because you're still thinking about it and you're obsessing over what you can do to make this better, that better. If I do it this way, do it that way. But at the end of the day, if you really truly believe I don't have control over this, you wouldn't even be thinking about it. You know, so that's one of the things I think that will assist me in aging gracefully, not stressfully. Get rid of worrying about things I cannot change. Stop it. It's out of my hands. There's nothing I can do there. Why am I thinking about this? Why is this a part of my, you know, my daily routine or why am I sitting obsessing over it? I have no control over it. Interesting. This is a topic. I was sitting on a throne yesterday (laughs) um, and I was looking at some YouTube videos and this girl showed up. She's a young lady. She's around 25 or something like that. Uh, She said it in her TED talk. Um, But the title of the YouTube video intrigued me because it said, stop focusing on purpose. And I was like, stop focusing on purpose. She, she got to go deeper than that. What that means. So it drew me in. And so she was talking and cut along long story short, uh, she was saying that so many people tend to focus on purpose, what they're supposed to do, what those goals are that they're supposed to achieve in life. And they forget about their own personal wellness and personal health. After she told her story, she started to dive into what she meant about focusing more on health. But she was going along the lines of saying, if you don't focus on your health, whether it's going to a a therapist, uh, talking out your thoughts, getting those things that's bogging you down out of your head, getting to the root of the the issue with yourself on the inside, uh, eating healthy. All those things that we've talked about previously, purpose would do you no good because you won't even have the health nor the the, you won't have the health, energy or mental capacity to even chase a goal or purpose that you're supposed to go after. So I got through the video and I started to understand what she was saying. And I think that is a huge thing. Like we always talk about purpose in this house, you know, regarding the figuring out what your God given duties are and, you know, focus on those and have some discernment on what's a distraction and this, that and the other. And we've also talked about health and wellness as well, but I don't think we ever put those two together where it's like not to focus on purpose as much, but more or less focus on yourself and your health and well being because doing that first will actually make it easier to have the ability or have the drive to go to go after your purpose. So this is not my suggestion. This is something that I was listening to on, you know, on YouTube. And I think that's something that perhaps could be implemented in our own way. I'm a big advocate of taking what works for you and discarding the rest because everything that someone says doesn't always work through and through. So you definitely have to take the things that resonate with you and how you operate. And then, you know, you continue to do that day by day, year by or month by month, year by year until you find your formula. And that formula continues to change the older you get anyways. And now a quick moment from our sponsor, 
Journey of a Legend. You. Yeah, you. What's your passion? Purpose. Every day you try, you succeed. The time is now. Journey of a legend. It starts with you. If you want to learn more or purchase merchandise, go to www.journeyofalegend.com. Yeah, quality of life is important. And I think that does tie into aging gracefully, making sure that you're focused on that and you can make the necessary adjustments because what may be required for someone else to age gracefully, not stressfully, may be different for me. Focusing on getting rid of things that may cause you to be in a stressful state repeatedly or just having a poor quality of life where you are so overwhelmed with a few or one particular thing that you are neglecting your health. You are neglecting taking care of things that are going to better assist you, spirit, mind, body, all of that. How are you going to keep the car running and you don't change the oil and put the gas in it and stuff like that? So these are things that keep us operating. You cannot do anything in purpose. You can't even get out of bed if you're not taking care of your body. And that's barring things that are out of our control that have happened to us for, you know, illnesses and ailments and things like that. But for the most part, the goal is to, you know, what's what's within your power and also being very intentional about what I allow in my personal space. And that's not just physical people. That's what I take in through reading, through listening, you know, to places I choose to go can directly and indirectly affect how I feel. I agree. Whatever it is that you specifically find when you begin to really think about how can I intentionally age gracefully, not stressfully, what things stress me out. I'm giving time to this. I'm giving energy to it. And this is not something that's fueling me in a way that's going to, you know, put me in a better position. And that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be something educational or some deep talk. Sometimes just watching something that makes you laugh, you know, that that's giving you a feeling of, of fun. You know, laughter is not something that's negatively affecting you. And then that energy is put someplace else. I actually encourage you to be honest with yourself as well and i mean you know obviously i'm talking about everybody the reason why i say that is a lot of times too we go through our lives saying that oh yeah i'm happy or i'm doing everything that's being done right now is you know making me happy or whatnot and or my environment or the person i'm with or the job i'm at you have to truly be honest with yourself in those moments when you're by yourself because that can take a toll on you as well, where you're not where you're not really where you want to be. Again, I'm not talking about goal driven stuff at all, but I'm just saying mentally you're not where you want to be. Um, the environment you you're in, you like, oh, yeah, this is cool. I can endure it. But, you know, you really can't. Uh, those things are huge. I'm not saying that you can change them right away, but definitely be cognizant of that, because if you know that and you're honest with yourself, you're going to make and you want to feel better and put yourself in position to feel better. You're going to do everything in your power to be able to make a move. And like you said before, what's in your power? Some things going to take a little more time than others, but you're going to actually put forth an effort. The other thing uh, I was going to say, too, is in being honest with yourself, you also have to take this in consideration. Like, I don't necessarily mean that you won't face any hardships or obstacles because in growth, as we both know, there are going to be things that you're going to go through in order for you to grow. So you can't get rid of everything that makes you feel bad or the, the thing that makes you feel overwhelmed. What you can do is seek help from an outside, outside resource, whether it's a book or um, a person that you confide in or whatnot, they can help you get through those moments. Because again, I will say you cannot get rid of every hardship and obstacle because some of those are meant to be there for you to grow and for your nourishment in order for you to be stress free, aging gracefully and things like that. So, yeah, be honest with yourself and also know that some of those obstacles you're going to face are supposed to be there because they're going to aid you to get these things we're talking about. Well said. 
If you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggested topics, or you want to keep this conversation going, you can shoot us an email at realfitradio at gmail.com. Our podcast drops every Monday. You can catch a snippet of our latest on our Instagram at realfitradio. If you're not following us, you definitely should be. As always, we hope this inspired, impacted, or empowered someone. Until next time.